Hey guys, we're back. Still live from New York Toy Fair 2019. And we're now at the Storm Collectibles booth. Storm Collectibles has a lot of video game properties. They're making a lot of awesome toys. They've been making a lot of great video game toys for a while. Now, someone else is actually filming something here right now, so we'll probably be just hanging out a bit up front until they are done. But over here, let's just start with King of Fighters. We have Kyo Kusanagi. And uh, this is going to be a... It says TBD because there's no release date just yet. Next to Kyo, Iori Yagami. I used to play as him a lot when I played King of Fighters. That was my character. Let's get a shot from this side. Now, if you guys can't hear me, let me know, please. Now, over here is Omega Rugal. Now, they took. It looks like he was standing up in this thing, but uh, he's probably fallen over, so they moved him down to here. So there is Rugal. Let's see if I can actually zoom in on him at all. Ah, I can! I did not know I could do that during a live stream, but now it's hideous. Get out of there. All right, let's not do that again. So there's Rugal, looking very buff in his mesh shirt. So that's our King of Fighter stuff. Right next to that, Street Fighter. First up, we've got Sagat. Loving the detail on the hand wraps. And of course that sculpt just screams Sagat. Let's take a little step down and check out Guile. Go home and be a family man. And it looks like the dog tags may actually be removable. And there's the uh, American flag tattoo. There's a better. There's, now it's in focus. And then down here, got M. Bison in his battle costume. And there's no name tag for that other character. And I don't know who that is. I think it's from the new game, which I haven't really played much of yet. Uh, let's see if I can go around and get a better shot of Bison on the side since he's posed a little bit closer to here. Now stick around guys because there will be some more extended coverage and better photos of all of these guys later on. Uh, thank you all for joining me right now to watch this live stream. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to get all the coverage later on. Alright, let's see. Over here, World Heroes Perfect. Don't know this game, this is Hanzo Hattori. Next to that, Kotaru Fuma. Same game, World Heroes Perfect. I'm not familiar with this one, so if you guys are, let me know what this is. I don't know if I've played it before. There is no release date on any of these yet, nor is there a release date for the Axe Battler from Golden Axe. He's making his debut here today. Very, very naked Axe Battler. To be fair, it's pretty accurate how he looks in the game. It's all three of them together. So over here is Gears of War. Uh, there's another gentleman right now doing an interview, so we're gonna wait till he's done before we jump over there. So I'm gonna come around. Run past you guys real quick. Thanks. Be good. All right. So we'll come back to that in one sec once they wrapped up over there. I don't want to interrupt any more than I have. So over here we have. Okay, I'm just making sure that everything here is okay to be photographed. Uh, over here from Mortal Kombat we have Cyrax. This is a great looking Cyrex. I love the Mortal Kombat figures. Storm is doing an excellent job with these. And wrapped up in a net, we've got Smoke. It's a pity because I'd love to actually have seen Smoke with some more detail, but at least we get to see the net in action. And 
there's one of his bombs. And joining him, which will be coming out in April, Baraka. That is an excellent Baraka. And it seems this might be it for Mortal Kombat at Toy Fair. And none of this is new, I don't think. I think we've seen this actually at New York Comic Con before. As well as this. Uh, Bane might be new, actually. There's, there's a Bane figure from Injustice. I believe that could be new. But uh, we did see the Dark Side Proto at New York Comic Con 2017. And I'm pretty sure we saw Lobo also. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time with those figures. But we'll just hang out here for a bit as these other guys do their stuff. I believe it's actually GameStop who's filming something right now, so definitely don't want to interrupt to that. Are you guys out there enjoying the coverage? Flip slap flop, you're still here. Well, thanks for sticking around with us this morning. Yeah, I love the Storm stuff. That's why I decided to come here and check out what they're doing. That's not me filming. That's someone else. Trick Slider. I will probably be visiting Eagle Moss at some point. Uh, I don't know what booth number they are. I've only been here for about two hours so far. I don't even know where anything is yet. Pretty sure I'm going to go to Eagle Moss at some point. I don't know if they made an appointment or not, but I will look into that because uh, that is stuff I also want to see. And I don't think they've gone to Twaker before. I think it's good. All right. Uh, I'm going to go out and head on inside the booth now. Excuse me, guys. I do too. All right. So here's the Gears of War figures. Marcus Phoenix and Augustus Cole. Big reveal. Dun, 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 dun. These are looking good. This is a world debut now. Oh yeah, absolutely flip flop. I think all the Street Fighter figures are no brainers, but I've never seen a bad figure of Sagat and Guile. Even the terrible G.I. Joe ones that they uh, made back when the movie came out. 1994, I think that was. So let's take a look at the accessories. We got a football helmet. I don't really play Gears of War, so I don't really know what the names of all the weapons are. I do know uh, that friendly fellow there. And so it looks like Phoenix will have a spare head and a removable hat. So that's younger Marcus Phoenix. That's a grizzled old veteran Marcus Phoenix. He's going to have a lot of spare hands to hold all these different accessories with. I don't know if he's going to have the same amount of hands, but I would assume he probably will have swappable hands as well. We're just not seeing it here today. Flip flap, yeah, I, I'm surprised, but on the other hand, it is kind of cool that they're giving you the option to uh, take it off. I kind of like that feature. And I imagine it's going to be pretty firm on his head, too. It's not going to be something that flops around. So that's the first look at Gears of War's figures. See, I don't know if I can show you guys the back. Well, you know what? I'm going to try it. There's the back of the figures. It's a little blurry, but you get the idea. And now I'll check it over here for our grand finale. We have some Street Fighter figures and some Mortal Kombat figures, so well some boxers. So we'll start over here with Street Fighter. Yeah, Coltrane does look good. Uh, let's see. We've got Akuma getting beat up by, uh, I forget this guy's name. He's from Street Fighter 3, I think, right, guys? Is that Alex? Is that his name? Uh, what's this dude's name? I don't remember it. But of course, I remember Chun Li. Yes, it is Alex. All right, good. Here is Chun Li. This is a very, very good Chun-Li figure. And I love that Akuma's just getting the beat down. I don't think that would happen in uh, the game, though. Over here, we've got Fatality Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat. And I, I love how they do this. Like, yeah, it's Sub-Zero's head. I mean, it's, it's, it's Scorpion's head. Sub-Zero yanking it out. There's Scorpion on the ground with no head. <laughs> I love that. And uh, over here, is this, uh, I believe this is either Noob Saibot or Smoke. Sorry guys, I don't play a lot of Mortal Kombat. I wasn't really a Mortal Kombat guy, and in general I didn't play a lot of fighters. It wasn't really my thing. But they're great figures nonetheless. And then over here, Mike Tyson. There's a lot of glare. Sorry about that, folks. Let's see, there we go. Mike Tyson. This is a uh, more modern Mike Tyson, because he has the goatee. I'd love to get it in focus. There we go. Yeah, it's close. Just there's a lot of glare right now. Detail work on the tattoos is great. This is a very modern Tyson, though. Huh? So it's got the goatee. It's got the tattoo. It's basically, it's kind of weird. It's like retired Mike Tyson, but he's also in boxing gear. So, yeah. And behind him, we have our first look at Muhammad Ali. 
which is new from Storm. And he's posed right now in that famous photo of him uh, standing over, was, is it Smoking Joe? Or uh, I can't remember who it is. Let's see if we can show you guys the backs or some more detail. So that's going to be our quick live look at Storm Collectibles. They've got a lot of great stuff here today. Hey, here's the backs of uh, Lobo and Darkseid and Bane while I'm over here. And all the Street Fighter guys. So that's going to be our look at Storm Collectibles for now. Uh, we're going to be back with more live streams in a little bit. I think I need to charge my phone now. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you check Nerd News today on Instagram. I'll be posting photos at some point of all these things. And stick around because there will be more live streams today and through the entire weekend.